Hey everyone, welcome back to Dial Up Digest. I just wanted to quickly mention how for the last two or three weeks, I think there was an issue where my videos were posted earlier than I planned. So a lot of you didn't receive notifications that they were posted. Sorry about that guys. If you'd like to check out the entire Hey Arnold character analysis series, I'll leave a link in the description box below and at the end of this video. This week, I'm super excited to share my newest Hey Arnold character analysis video. This time, my focus is on Mr. Wynn. Mr. Wynn's signature look consisted of his thick jet black hair with side-swept bangs, a thin zigzag-shaped mustache, a light blue collared shirt, and simple brown pants. Mr. Wynn was a resident at Arnold's boarding house. He lived alone in his unit, but was often seen interacting with Oscar and Ernie. If you watched my previous video, you would know that Ernie and Mr. Wynn got along pretty well. As with most other characters who lived at the boarding house, Mr. Wynn was not a fan of Oscar, and he frequently called him out as a troublemaker. In season 3 episode 2, Arnold and Gerald discover Mr. Wynn was talented at singing country songs. This prompted the duo to encourage Mr. Wynn to turn his talent into a professional career. Mr. Wynn, Gerald and I were thinking, you should be a country western singer. I'm talking the real deal. Making CDs, playing concerts, sell out crowds. Rich and famous. Rich and famous? That is very funny. I don't want to be a famous. While Mr. Wynn hesitated at first, he ended up going along with their plan. In the end though, he decided that he wanted to return to his simple life and left his fame and fortune behind. Before I begin, I have something to say. It is an honor to be here. So 10% of 5200, I love country music. I love writing songs, but I am a simple man. I have a job in a restaurant, and I like it. In fact, someday, I hope to be a great chef. I don't want to be famous. Uh, Gerald, not now, man. I'm trying to figure out how much money we're going to make. This is my first time singing at the Opry. Gerald, what? It will also be my last time. So now, I will sing my song on stage for the last time. In addition to his singing skills, Mr. Wynn also knew how to play the guitar and the cello. Mr. Wynn was of Vietnamese descent and had immigrated to the United States sometime after the Vietnam War. In my favorite Mr. Wynn episode, we learn more about Mr. Wynn's personal life. In the season 1 episode titled Arnold's Christmas, it is revealed that Mr. Wynn has a long lost daughter. In the episode, Arnold tries to reunite the two in the heartwarming holiday special as a Christmas present he won't ever forget. Against all odds, Arnold achieves his goal with the help of Helga. Look into your heart, and we've got a choice. Either you and I work all night to find a certain lost daughter, or you can leave now. But if you leave now, that little football-headed kid will never believe in miracles again. And Mr. Wynn and his daughter Mai are brought together in an emotional reunion. When Mr. Wynn wasn't at home, he was working hard at a Mexican restaurant called El Patio. In season 5 episode 17, we see his determination to become promoted at his workplace. After seeing his manager favor his coworker with a large family, he ends up believing he won't get the promotion because he does not have a large family like him. 
buddy, sissy, Jane, Mary, and of course, the light of my life, Edwina. Very Mr. impressive. Wayne ends up following Oscar's dishonest advice and pretends the boarding house residents are his biological family. When the truth is revealed while the manager comes over for dinner, at first the manager is disappointed, but then Arnold comes to Mr. Wynn's defense. Sorry. Wait, that's not fair. Maybe Mr. Wynn did lie about a few things, but he only did it because you were more worried about having a head chef with a big family than you were about having a head chef who's the best cook. And the truth is, even if we aren't all actually related, we're still a family. We all live in this house together. Mr. Wynn looks out for me like an uncle. She looks out for all of us, and we look out for him. We spend holidays together and birthdays, and whenever one of us has a problem, we help each other out. That's why we all did this, to help Mr. Wynn. We may not be involved in the end, the manager realizes still. that Mr. Wynn may not have a traditional family, but he still has a big family, and most importantly, a big heart. So that is it for my Hey Arnold character analysis of Mr. Wynn. If you like this video, I'd love it if you could give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. If you're on Instagram, you can follow me at dialupdigest if you love memes that are all about the 90s and early 2000s. Until next time, my friends, dialing out.